let's talk a little bit about some of the components that go into these courses. Perhaps one of the biggest components of this effort is that we need to have students practice with the material and really under, in order to really understand it. There's been a range of studies that demonstrate the importance of this. This one that appeared in Science last year, for example, demonstrates that even simple retrieval practice, where students are just supposed to repeat what they already learned, gives considerably improved results on various achievement tests down the line than many other educational interventions. We've tried to build in retrieval practice into the platform, as well as other forms of practice in many ways. For example, even our videos are not just videos. Every few minutes, the video pauses and the students get asked a question. Prospect theory, hyperbolic discounting, status quo bias, base rate bias, they're all well-documented. So they're all well-documented deviations from rational behavior. So here the video pauses and the student types in the answer into the box and submits. Obviously, they weren't paying attention. So they get to try again. And this time they got it right. There's an optional explanation if they want, and now the video moves on to the next part of the lecture. This is kind of simple question that I, as an instructor, might ask in class. But when I ask an, a, that kind of a question in class, 80% of the students are still scribbling the last thing I said. 15% are zoned out on Facebook. And then there's a smarty pants in the front row who blurts out the answer before anyone else has had a chance to think about it. And I, as the instructor, am terribly gratified that somebody actually knew the answer. And so the lecture moves on before really most of the students have even noticed that a question had been asked. Here, every single student has to engage with the material. <laughs>